Hello all my beauties, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing very well and having a great day. First day back to work. Um, I'm on my way, so I'm taking you guys with me. Let's see how today go. I don't know why I'm so nervous to get back to work, but our last day was like the 15th of March. And that was the 15th of June, so, yeah. It's crazy. Workflow. Gotta get my mind right. Woke up, it was, I feel good. It's gonna be a lot different. I got my mask. New mask for work. <sighs> Traffic is a little bit crazy. But I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time to get back. I got a book schedule. I really did think to be back this early, but we back. Cause everybody was saying, oh, we on the fifth uh, phase and it's gonna be after July 4th. And she was saying the same thing. And um, our governor in Michigan was saying the same thing. Then all of a sudden, like protests was happening and she was walking with the people. Then all of a sudden she said, we can open back up that same week. So we here first day back. First day back. I drank my coffee this morning. I'm feeling great. Gave me a boost of energy. to upload a video yesterday I was at my sister-in-law house and it just would not upload but it should be on there this morning ooh, ooh. come on y'all get it right that's why we drive for other people and not ourselves because they are just stopping the midst of everything but yeah I'm excited and nervous Ah! Oh snap, do I got my gloves there? I didn't think about that. My processing gloves. I didn't think I took them. Hmm. I hope so, it's gonna be a crazy day if I don't. But I think my boss said she bought more gloves. My biggest thing is that I just want my clients to be happy and satisfied. I think that's all our number one as hairstylists and hair colorists. That's all we want is to bring out what the client sees, the hairstyle that the client sees. Because I feel like once your hair done, nails done, check, you feel good, you, you feel great. It boosts your confidence and self-esteem. And that's the biggest thing I want to do. I want to, like, it's, this is more than just a job. It's my ministry as well. Like, I go to shelters and I, I give women, ooh, a day of beauty just to get escape what they are, just to escape their environment and just feel good about themselves. 
So I go give them haircuts. I try to gather with other uh, people in my profession, like nail techs, makeup artists, and we just give them a day of beauty. Whatever they want, whatever they need. If they need their eyebrows arched, do that. And just to let them know somebody care and somebody thinking about them. So I partner with, uh, well, not partner, but I go to Grace Center of Hope in Pontiac, Michigan. And I do the ladies there because I'm only one person. So I told God if I stick with just one shelter and maintain that, he'll give me many more and he'll give me more help. And I'm telling you guys, it was just me and then everybody that helped me be different. And I hate what to do and everything. And then I, I go through it and I'm telling y'all, he put it in place. And I used to have to spend out my pocket and now, like, I got so much help that I don't hardly have to spend as much out of my pocket. Because I got my church now bagging me. Because they came, they was like, April, this is amazing. And I'm like, I know, I told y'all this is incredible. Like, them ladies really are fighting, you know. And I love it. They helped me just humble myself and give me a reason to be here and reason to keep going so that's another thing I do and I love every bit of it and I can't wait till I get to go back there because I was supposed to do Easter and the pandemic happened we was going to do Easter egg the children no the mothers was going to make Easter egg basket for their children and um, all the children that's in the shelter that was gonna be one thing we do. And then I normally do a sandal drive in June, so I wasn't able to do that this year to get them all a pair of sandals or two because they don't have no uh, visitations. They're not open yet. I can't wait to see my ladies. I need more help because they do want me to do haircuts and stuff but it's so many of them and I feel bad when I just don't when I don't get all of them like it's about over 50 girls and I want to hit every last single one so I'm praying that God send me more people to help Man, the car rides, let me tell y'all, car rides, I love driving, God, always, I would be sitting here crying the whole, like, he had touched me so much, I would cry the whole way, like, worshiping and sending, the car rides is my thing, or, or he always get me in the, um, shower, I'm telling you, I just bust out crying, I'm like, how did I even get to work? Like, I don't even know he had touched me so bad. It was one time he was like, I need 
Oh, this is my son. Uh, it was one that was, um, he said, go to this church event. And I was like, dang, that's so far. But I said, I got to be obedient. I talk about the whole ride down there. I was like crying the whole ride. He touched me all the way down there. And that's all he wanted me to do is get in the car, I do believe. <laughs> it was so crazy. But let me listen to my pump up song. Sing your victory. I'm gonna sing your victory. From the What the enemy meant for evil, and you turned it for good. You turned it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turned it for good. You turned it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turned it for good. pray. This is what I do every morning. Father God, I thank you for everything you've done. I thank you that you turn everything. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for our good, Father God. Everything works together for our good. And I just thank you for being a good, good father. Father God, I lift up my workplace, Father God. I lift up um, my co-workers and peers, Father God, I ask that in my clients right now, mighty God, I ask that everybody that walked through this door uh, leave out with joyous and happy, Father God, and peaceful, Father God. Whatever they going through, Father God, let our hands work, Father God. Work through my body to create the style that my clients want, Father God. Father God, let me be a blessing unto them, Father God. Whatever they need, mentally, 
spiritual, emotionally, Father God, and physically, Father God. Let me be able to provide, Father God. Give me the words to say, Father God, to my clients if they need it, Father God. Whatever they're going through, Father God, I lift them up to you right now. Right now, Father God. I lift up this atmosphere. I ask that you go be in this place, Father God, in my workplace and feel it from the north, south, east, and west, Father God, from the front and back, Father God. I ask that your presence just resonate in that place, Father God. And I just thank you for everything you're doing, Father God. Let this day be a day that of gladness, of joy, Father God. Let us all get along, Father God. Let us have a good work um, day, Father God. I just thank you for everything you're doing. I thank you for the blessings that you have placed on me, Father God. I thank you for this creativity that you have gave me, Father God. I thank you for everything you are doing in my life and everybody's lives on here, Father God. I ask that you break down every stronghold, Father God, on today. For today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, Father God, and be glad in it. Father God, open my eyes and ears to see through your lens, to hear through your, your ears, Father God, to see people as you see them on today, Father God. Show me what you need me to do on today, Father God. I'm not coming here needing you, Father God. I want um, you to show me what you need me to do, Father God, and to today, Father God. Father God, I ask that you gird up my loins, Father God, as I make it through. Father God, you say anywhere my feet shall trample, Father God, it is mine, Father God. Anything my hands touch, Father God, it is blessed. So I just thank you for that. Anoint me right now from the top of my head to the soles of my feet to do your will, Father God. Anger has to go, Father God. Jealousy has to go right now on today, Father God. Father God, give me the peace, Father God. Give me the fruits of you, Father God. The fruits of your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I just thank you for today. Father God, I thank you for the breath that you have breathed in my lungs. I thank you for being able to be in my right mind. I thank you for keeping your hands on me. But most of all, I thank you for being the Lord of Lords over my life. I thank you for being the King of Kings, Father God. You never leave your throne. We're going to see a victory on today. And we're going to see the victory on today. Because the battle belongs to you, Father God. All we have to do is worship you. All we have to do is pray. All we have to do is read our word. You said, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and everything shall be added unto you. Father God, all we have to do is seek your face, Father God. And I, we seek him today, Father God. Take us back to our first love, Father God. Get us so desperate as the woman with the issue of blood, Father God. And she was desperate for you, Father God. Take us back to that place in the mighty name of Jesus. And I just thank you, Father God. I just thank you, Father God. We need you on this earth. We need your spirit, Father God. Fill this nation, Father God. I lift up the kingdom of God on today, Father God. Lift up your people, Father God. Awaken your people. Awaken all your people, enlighten them, awaken them dry bones, Father God. Father God, put us in position. Put us in position. Put us in position. And let your love spill out on this nation, Father God. From the White House on down to the officers, Father God. Let us come together, Father God. Father God, and continue to create change. But good change, Father God. Ease the hearts of the, the people, Father God. Let peace fill this atmosphere, this whole entire nation and other nations. China, Father God, Europe, Australia, Father God, I just lift them up to you. Everywhere, Father God, let heaven come to earth. Let heaven come down, Father God. Rain on us, Father God. Let your river flow in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you lead me, you guide me, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. You guys have a blessed day. I'm at work. I feel good. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like this is going to be a good day because he is going before me. He is leading me. So have a blessed day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Have an awesome day. Hope your day be joyous and peaceful.